everyone. This is Hammett of Hammett Creates. And this is my series on how to file. Filing Basics 101. Let's say you are at work and your desk is a mess and your coworkers are dogging you out, your boss is looking at you sideways. This is how you get started. Now, I know filing for most of us is like a daunting type task and it's like you can you dread trying to do it. But this is how you do it. You set it up. Now you're going to have to sacrifice at least an hour before work, an hour after work, or if your company allows it, you're going to have to sacrifice a weekend to come in and get it set up. But I'm going to give you a basic start on it. I'm not going to give you the whole thing, but how you can start your filing. First of all, let's say you have a desk full of work and your papers are just piling up. Common sense will honestly tell you that most of the paper that's on your desk is papers that need to be processed and or filed. So this is what I want you to do. First and foremost, you sit there and you tell yourself, what do I do all day? If you multitask, you put your multitask in alphabetical order. Like for instance, if you multitask and do accounting, you make a big folder for accounting. You put file folders inside. Now this is the reason why I have it set up like this. You put your accounting tab here so you can see it. Then you put your left tabs over here so you can see the sub-subjects. You have accounting, you have meeting workshops, you have payroll, supplies that you order, and travel for your staff that goes out and travel. Okay, now for accounting, what you would have to do is you have your general accounting, then you do accounts payables, accounts receivables, and then your vendors uh, list. For your meeting workshops, what you would need is your vendors list, your catering, and your vendors list. For your payroll, you need your staff info, your payroll sheets, and then your staff schedules. For your supplies, you would need the list of the office information of people who want to supply things and the staff who you ordered it for. For your travel, for your staff members that travel, what you want to do is get your hotel reservations, your proofs of re registration, and your parking and any meals that your boss is going on. Now, anything that's sitting on top of your desk, it has to have a home. The other file that you use is file 13. Anything that has nothing to do with what you do all day, you throw it away, you shred it. Okay. So that is how you basically set it up. And like I said, you just need to set up. Now I have a junior file folder here just to show you the basic setup of everything. Like I said, accounting, your means of workshop, payroll, supplies, and travel. You may have other tasks that you do at your job, but this is how you set it up. Make sure this is where you can see it. So when somebody comes and asks you for something, you can say, okay, they want something dealing with accounting. You get accounting, you get the subsubject, you hand it to your boss. That's all you have to do. So when you get it off your desk, you drop it. You drop your paperwork in one of these folders, and then you can come back later and refile. But if you just want to get it off your desk and into a file, this is how you set it up. Just all the tasks you do all day, you put it in alphabetical order, put some folders inside of it so it's on the side, and that's it. That is all you do for filing basics. That is it. And like I said, an hour before work, an hour after work, and or a weekend. And you can also bring this stuff home, set it up, and then when you get back to work, just drop everything into the actual file that you're gonna use, okay? That's it. So, I hope you enjoy this. If you want to, you can email me or subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.